It's a good cookie. I like it. Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about our upcoming entomophagy program. Entomophagy is the practice of eating bugs. Um, I'm very interested in this topic. This is part of our Resilient Community series of programs. Check out our calendar and see what's coming up. We have a couple of movie screenings as well as a seed swap and we'll be talking about different aspects of climate change and the environment and what we can do to help. Any of our patrons who are Fond du Lac patrons can go to Hoopla and look for The Gateway Bug. That is the movie we will be watching. We have to discuss it together instead of watch it together because we don't have the licensing rights, but we have it on Hoopla. If you aren't a Fond du Lac patron, you can go to your home library and see if they have Hoopla. A lot of libraries in the area have Hoopla now and ask them about it and see if you can access The Gateway Bug through their app. The discussion meeting is going to be on Zoom March 23rd at 2 p.m. Send me an email at jessica at fondalaclibrary.org if you would like an invite to the Zoom discussion meeting. If you don't have access to Hoopla, you don't have to uh, watch the movie before we talk about entomophagy. We have other materials in the collection that you can check out. Um, one of my favorite books is Edible by Daniela Martin. Life-changing, uh, completely amazing book. Um, really opened my eyes to different things about entomophagy and climate change and different ways that we can work together um, to think our way out of this. <laughs> to do better. Some of the snacks you'll be able to pick up is a Cricut Energy Bar. Barbecue chips. So it's got corn chips and cricket powder inside them. And each one of these snacks will have a flyer about our entomophagy discussion. I went ahead and also ordered some, a cookie mix from the company here because that was, I figured, the easiest way to get into eating bugs. Like who doesn't like cookies? So I will go ahead and show you my process there and let you know if I liked it or not. Oh man, that's a monster yolk. Two hours later. Okay, here's the moment of truth. One of our homemade cookies made with cricket flour. Hmm. This tastes like a cookie. Yeah, it smells nutty. You hear that descriptor a lot with cricket flour. It just tastes nutty. It's chewy on the inside, nice and crisp bottom. My dog really wants one. You can't have chocolate. It's bad for you. Yeah, it's good. No, you can't have a cookie. Okay, hope to see you there.